What's up everybody? I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. Beamer, Benz or Bentley, which would you prefer? We all have our own favorites, but there's a chance that we might not be able to drive our dream cars for much longer because we're going through a worldwide digital revolution and it's coming to a car near you. We saw this digital and automation shift with the way we shop, with the way we watch TV, with the way we find places to stay, and now we're about to see it with the way we drive cars. Ride sharing apps like Uber and Lyft shook up the taxi and the limo industry, but that was just a snowball compared to the avalanche that's coming to the entire driving industry. What am I talking about exactly? Well, I'm gonna break it down to three different factors and then we're gonna go over how you can capitalize on it. Let's start with uh, some general background information. Autonomous cars are not that far away. In August, Ford announced that they expect to have fully autonomous cars ready for the market by 2021. Volkswagen says that their autonomous cars should be ready for the market by 2019. And GM, well, <laughs> they think that they're ready to start mass producing self-driving cars right now. The last time we saw a major shift in the transportation industry like this was when we shifted from riding horses to driving cars back in the early 1900s. So it's kind of cool to be alive during this time if you really think about it. But this change comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Having self-driving cars means a lot more than just being able to eat your cereal while you're driving to work in the morning. Hmm. First, remember how I said Uber and Lyft shook up the taxi market? Well, here's how these apps work. If you're an Uber driver, you would turn on your app and then when somebody needs a ride, you would get a notification and then you would drive your car to that person, they would get in and then you would drop them off to where they need to go and then Uber would take like something around 25% of the revenue that you made. This changed the game for taxis because now the taxi comes to you and you can just pay off your phone. It's super easy and convenient. But now let's put on our thinking turbans and think about this. All right, I got mine on. You ready? What do you think is gonna happen if cars don't need drivers and most of the revenue for these ride sharing apps is being used to pay drivers? Um, hmm. Oh, if our thinking is correct, then Uber is going to get rid of the 327,000 drivers. Lyft is going to get rid of the 315,000 drivers and the 240,000 taxi drivers won't be able to compete because the cost of an autonomous taxi will be a lot cheaper. Oh, and uh, those numbers, they're just in America. So we're looking at about 1 million people being affected by this change in personal transportation in the United States alone. But personal transportation is just a small sliver of the entire transportation business, which brings us to number two, big rig transportation. <laughs> Trucking is a huge multi-billion dollar industry that relies on people to drive trucks from point A all the way to point B. Tesla, Uber, and Google understand how big the opportunity is in the trucking market and they're all trying to get a piece of it. These companies are buying up startup autonomous driving businesses left and right so they can be the first to market with a fully autonomous truck and we're getting pretty close. In February, a company called Star Sky Robotics tested their fully automated semi-truck and they were able to transport a full freight of supplies for 120 miles on the highway. Let me show you why this is such a big deal. Right now, there are about three and a half million truck drivers in America. Now, multiply that by the average truck driver's salary of $73,000 a year. So we're talking about a massive potential cost saver for these trucking businesses. And that's why these tech companies are working so hard to make autonomous driving happen so they can get a piece of that pie. Third, don't forget about the little guy. Shipping companies like UPS, FedEx, DHL, and DPD all rely on drivers to drive their vans or their small trucks to deliver packages to your door. You might be thinking, oh, well, they might be able to get a self-driving van or a self-driving truck, but how are they gonna get my package from the truck to my doorstep if there's no driver? Huh, good point. Uh, I can see that you still have your thinking turban on, but you weren't the first person to think of that. Domino's Pizza is one of the more innovative pizza companies out there, and uh, they saw this ship coming. So they partnered with Ford to create a self-driving and a self-delivering pizza car. The president of Domino's said in an interview that getting a pizza from the store to your driveway isn't really a problem. 
The question is, how are they gonna get the pizza from the driveway into your hands without a driver? And to help solve this problem, Ford announced earlier this year that they'll be investing $1 billion into artificial intelligence in their cars. So you can imagine that some of that money will be used to find a way to get packages from their car to your doorstep. We're talking about a massive, massive shift in the entire driving industry from personal drivers to big rigs to small packages to your dinner and we haven't even started talking about manufacturing jobs or car lenders or car insurance companies. So what should you do? Well for one, know what's happening in the economy and stop living in disbelief. Either get with the times or get ready to be beat. The shift is coming sooner than a lot of us think and there's a lot of people out there that believe nothing's gonna happen, things are just gonna stay the same, so they just keep doing the same old thing time and time again, and they're usually the first ones out of a paycheck. You can invest for the future by investing your money in companies that are innovating for the future, or you can bet against companies that aren't innovating. As always, you are never guaranteed to make money when you invest. You might even lose money when you invest. So you should always speak to a financial planner in your area so you understand all the local laws and regulations that govern investing. We've already mentioned some of the innovators, and I've talked about some of the companies that aren't innovating in some of our other videos, but it's a balance because you don't want to invest when the market is too overvalued, so pay attention. If you want to learn more about investing and how it works, I wrote an ebook on money and investing. It's completely free and you can read it on our website by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the caption below. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think the driving industry is dead? If so, how long does it have left? Let me know in the comments below and if you don't think so, let me know why below as well. Every single week we release new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money, so if you don't want to miss them, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below and as always keep hustling